Hello, today I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, how I like to explore um, the interaction between art and nature or natural sciences. So what I have here is a Wikidata query uh, that asks for instances of paintings for which there is an image on Wikimedia Commons and some information about what uh, the image is about. So here I'm asking for images that show icebergs and I sort them by date. And so if I run this query, I get 34 um, depictions, 34 examples. And um, yeah, we can have a look at those and we can then uh, also see how the depiction of icebergs changed over time. Uh, this, this works for a number of other things as well. So for instance, we can try um, rainbow not the rainbow trout but the rainbow and then we get 54 rainbows which again um, come in different shapes and forms and styles and so on it also works for other things like again and then uh, so if you know something about lightnings or if you want to learn something about lightnings you can use uh, such things uh, to discuss uh, to what extent uh, this way of depicting a lightning actually reflects certain aspects of it but what I would like to zoom in on today is actually paintings depicting frogs um, and here we already see there are different ways in which the term frog is being used um, so let's go for the first one that gives 15 results and uh, let's pull in the other results as well using the let's say the broader definition of frogs uh, because there's some confusion between frogs and toads and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask for anything that has a parent taxon uh, that belongs to the amphibian order of Panura which contains the frogs and toads okay so from the 15 results that we had we're now up to 36 and I'll uh, yeah I have gone through all of those um, and so I can confirm that there is some uh, depiction of a frog or toad or some of an anurum in all of them but some of them are actually tricky so here uh, this one is tricky because it's just a very busy picture um, so uh, I leave it to uh, your um, imagination to find out where the frog might be um, then on this one it's a bit easier so the frog is here yeah we can actually just go all around uh, here we have a frog here um, this one actually wasn't there when i first ran this query so i, I had th this image first and i was a bit puzzled okay so there is no frog you can also zoom in and there is no frog so I actually had to read up about what, where this uh, image came from and so on. And so there is a story uh, which is actually better explained using the other image here. So there is a pond and in the pond you had uh, a frog and a snake and the snake was about to eat the frog. And then the prince came and said, no, you shouldn't eat the frog. So he liberated the frog, but the snake wanted to eat something. And so the prince gave some of his own flesh to the snake. And so both of these animals uh, went back home happily and their spouses told them that they should go back to the prince and thank him which is why they then appeared here uh, in the shape of humans in order to offer their services to the prince uh, and so in a way uh, the frog is still here but yeah it appears as a human and so the question is how should we tag that data wise um, then here there's a, a frog just as a, a normal collection of biodiversity um, several frogs uh, assisting Adam and Eve in paradise 
here there's the Ark of Noah and again it's uh, not so easy to find the frog but if you have an idea where frogs normally live you will have an idea of where to find the frog on this picture. Um, here um, the frog looking away from all the, the fruits. Um, this frog uh, is not in good condition. Uh, normally uh, the frog eats flies but here the flies are eating the frog. Um, yeah, here is another fro uh, frog with flowers. Um, this one is quite busy. So here we have a frog trying to eat a butterfly, but also a snake trying to eat the frog. Um, here we have a, a toad looking away from the scene. And uh, this one is uh, interesting. It was amongst the four images I found when I first ran this query. So um, when I first ran it, it just gave four results and it had contained this one I couldn't see a frog here I saw the cows and so I had to zoom in and then I noticed oh yeah here there is a frog um, and um, yeah so recently I was in uh, the museum where this painting is on display the Mauritz house in The Hague and so I took a, a close-up image of that frog and that is here um, it appears greener uh, on my image than it is here uh, but otherwise uh, it's the same frog then here we have uh, frogs and toads in uh, the company of um, yeah, snakes and uh, lizards. Uh, here is a frog with a thistle in the background. Um, and yeah, we're back to uh, the <laughs> um, to the first images because now the uh, this slideshow uh, thingy doesn't work anymore. Um, so here we have another um, depiction uh, from the Bible uh, where the frogs actually are in the pond. Here the, uh, the frogs are amidst a, a scene with birds. Here we have a, um, a story where people are being converted into frogs uh, in, in some uh, legend. Uh, this picture here had me puzzled because I kind of knew that there was a frog in there, uh, but I couldn't see it. So I had a um, close look at it and still couldn't see it. And then I tried it again and then I found, oh, look here, there is the frog here in this cylinder um, used as a kind of weather predictor, weather forecaster. Um, then some yeah, more obvious depictions of frogs. Another one with flowers. Uh, here, um, a yeah, rather complex setup. Yeah. Um, so that's the frog. Much detail. Actually, two of them. Multiplexers. So. Um, then here's a frog um, amongst uh, lots of plants, a frog being eaten by a stork, a frog observing a magical scene. Here are uh, two frogs uh, painted by Van Gogh, that I also recently saw in the Van Gogh Museum. And this frog is not in a very healthy situation, uh, being pierced by a twig. This one is being chased by a cat. Here is another one where a frog um, is part of a magical scene. And here, I actually like this one, so it's called uh, The Young Biologist and because uh, he's just observing the frog. That's how uh, Interest in Nature starts. A frog near a fountain, a frog as uh, the main subject of the painting, and here a frog engaging several puppies. So, uh, yeah, that was an excursion into how Wikidata can assist with the exploration of uh, art and um, thank you for your attention.